Hey gamers, the Red Dragon here, and we are taking a look at From Dust. These are the challenges. This is part two, and we are up with Aqua Splash as our first challenge of the day. Uh, so go ahead, and as soon as you get in, there's a keystone at the other end of uh, this walkway, and just go ahead and send your guy over there. And really, up and up until he gets there and starts coming back, there's not a whole lot you can do. That puddle of water, or I guess it's a little bit more than a puddle, uh, that lake. It's going to eventually start overflowing, and uh, it's going to come down, and it's going to look a lot like that first challenge that we ever did where we were trying to get several people across. Uh, but this one, a lot easier because all we're having to do is get one person across, so as soon as they uh, get up close, you know, just grab that water and uh, dump it somewhere else where it doesn't fall on them. Uh, same thing goes whenever they're on their way back, so... Uh, some of these challenges, challenges, you know, they're mixed in, and some of them are just a lot more difficult than others. And uh, uh, we'll see a couple of easy ones on this particular page. Uh, this one, I believe, is a, a lot easier than the uh, one of the first challenges we did on the first page, if you remember what I'm talking about, where we were having to do five people getting across. Of course, if the, the person... Uh, comes up close to the water he's gonna try to go down so you wanna try to uh, stay about his level his, uh, of where he's walking because you don't want him to go down because that's just gonna waste more time and as always what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold on to the water I'm not gonna dump it because remember if we're going for the number uh, you know or the, the best time possible it's counted by the last action that you do because if I drop that that's one more action uh, and with a lot of these near the end, if I'm not doing anything, I'm going to speed it up. So here we are, the second one, Waterfall. And the way this one starts out is you can only capture water and move it. So what we're going to do is uh, there's a little dude trying to work his way down to that village in order to give them a keystone. You'll see that we have a tsunami coming in in a matter of seconds. So what he's going to do is he's, or she, whatever, they're going to walk down and you'll see they're eventually going to get to a section where they cannot cross and uh, what we're going to do is just uh, remember that game Plinko on uh, Price is Right where you drop the little pin and it goes down and um, it gets all the way to the bottom we're pretty much going to play Plinko with villagers so uh, just use the water in order to make them slide all the way down and then suck it up in order to give them a walkway uh, where they can get to that totem pole. Again, we're just going to speed it up here so uh, they can move on. And I mean, I mean, there's absolutely nothing to see except time pass. So that does that challenge, and we're ready for the guardian angel. But well, this one, this is the one I was talking about, was super easy. Just pick up this totem pole, move it over in the middle. That's it. That's all you have to do uh, because what's going to happen is that first totem pole, it had uh, the fire keystone, so it's going to protect them from the lava. So as long as they get up and get that village up and running, they're going to carry that lava keystone with them. So it's going to protect the bottom village and at least give the bottom village enough time to get their own uh, keystone flag uh, so it's going to save them. So you can get some really fast times on these uh, I believe uh, at the end of this one I got it in like two seconds and I went and checked the leaderboards and I was still pretty far behind so uh, apparently I'm kinda slow uh, but two seconds next one up is explosions so this one is uh, kinda similar as the last one except uh, we have a we have lava coming down but what we're gonna do is use these explosive plants in order to try to divert uh, the volcano lava uh, or magma out to the side here so it protects our village and uh, gives us enough time because again somebody is coming in with a fire keystone so you see I, I dumped one in the middle and had like three or four on the side there you'll see that there's a little bit of lava moving in towards the village but it's not enough the majority of it is running uh, off the side of the volcano and uh, that little section that was headed towards the village just dried completely up and uh, you'll see as I zoom back here uh, where that person was coming in with the lava keystone 
And that does it for that particular challenge. Sixteen seconds, and as with all of these, you can go back and you can try them as many times as you want to to try to beat your old time. Uh, so you can go in, in whatever order you want to as well. So it's completely up to you. This one is called Sacrifice. This is probably the hardest one uh, of the whole bunch. Uh, what you're going to do is there's very limited sand to begin with. So you're going to have to grab it from the island that you start. Uh, you have to be very careful because if you grab too much, it's going to sink these people and it's going to kill them right off. And it's okay to kill them later on in the game, but not before uh, they uh, set up a shop at that next totem pole. So as they're working their way around, we're going to go ahead and uh, start working on this other little bridge. And what we're trying to do is get to a keystone uh, that I'll show you uh, here in a little bit. Uh, but what we're going to do is go ahead and destroy the bridge that we created to get them over to that totem pole. And um, we're just going to grab all this sand. Sand is very hard to come by or dirt, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so we want to be sure that we pick up as much as we can. And you'll notice that if you zoom out or if you're looking around, there's sections of the ocean that are raised higher. You'll see right there. You, you can kind of see the land up under there. So you want to be sure that you're building on top of that uh, because if not, you're just not going to have enough sand uh, to make it all the way through. So go ahead and use what they've given you. And I went on ahead and uh, sent a person over to this keystone so I can kind of determine where they're having problems uh, and that's just going to save me time because they're on their way wa walking over here and uh, that little trail or path tells me uh, where they're going to encounter troubles or areas that they can't cross. Uh, so again, uh, and you notice that that first totem pole when we first started out there was no dirt there but every time they build a village and actually puts down a little bit of dirt and one thing that I've noticed that works really well is the slower you go, the better. Uh, dirt lasts a lot longer if you go really slow. Uh, so go ahead and take your time with this. And um, if you end up getting in a situation where you've run out of sand and your person isn't there yet, go ahead and go behind them to pick up the sand and just swap it back and forth. But that's going to take a lot more time to do if you do it like that. And it's better to take your time up front and make sure you have enough sand to go ahead and build this bridge. Uh, and uh, especially if you're going for the fastest time possible. Now I got really upset at this point because I thought, you know, hey, I'm, I must be doing pretty good on time because I finished that up in a fairly good amount of time. And you see, um, I haven't done anything for a little bit, so. I mean, remember, all this is bonus time that I'll end up getting back as long as I'm not going to have to do anything. And it's telling me that he had a full, clear path the whole way up until he gets right here and then it changes and he d decides that he can't cross right there. So I have to throw in that little bit of sand and so I lost a ton of bonus time. So uh, be sure if you're doing this, you're going for the fastest time, uh, go ahead and take the time to make sure that things uh, leveled out as best as possible. But, you know, I can go back and try that again, but I was not in the mood after uh, that little level to go back and, and try to, to get a little better time uh, with that particular challenge. I was pretty upset. So the next challenge we have is Gospel. And with this one, what we have to do is immediately send the, the person to the keystone that's in the water. Uh, we've encountered a couple of you know campaigns and different challenges where it's in the water uh, with this particular challenge they are giving us the option to jellify water and you have one minute to do that but it's not enough time if you start it too early so what you want to do is wait for your villager to get right on the edge get right here uh, where they're really close to it and then go ahead and use the jellify uh, water and just uh, suck all this up and, and move it over. It doesn't matter where you move it to. Uh, but what I do is I follow a little path right along that first rock uh, that's thrown up because if you don't watch it, uh, some of the areas in this little water area are, are pretty deep and you won't walk there. 
Uh, so you have to find your own little trail and path. And with a lot of these, uh, uh, I mean, you're, you're seeing the time that I, I did it and I was happy with it and I kept it. Uh, but you can restart these at any time and trust me. Uh, with all of these challenges, I'm restarting a lot of them because what I'll do is I'll, I'll get in, I'll kind of see what's going on, and uh, I'll, I'll try to figure out the, the best way that I think I can get the fastest time, and then I'll go ahead and, and go into it. But, you know, uh, you'll probably, doing several, uh, probably be doing several of these challenges over and over, and then there's no shame in that whatsoever. So again, we're just waiting on them to go ahead and get down there to that totem pole, so I'll speed it up just a little bit. And if you would, guys, as always, uh, please ask that you comment, like, subscribe, and they've got a new reaction feature. Don't really know what that does or if it has any consequence whatsoever, but, you know, it just takes a second. Just click on it. Um, and then the last level, Hell. So what's going on here is uh, we have one little, um, I guess, hole or whatever that's got uh, some water in it, and you've got this line of fire coming in towards your village. So what we're going to do is wait till it gets a little bit closer, uh, dump it right on top in the middle here, and let it slide on both sides. And you'll see that uh, we have a little bit of water. Some of that water um, rolled off down there near the bottom, and you can reuse this water because water... Uh, like dirt on the other level there's not a whole lot of it so you have to be very careful conservative and you have to reuse a lot of stuff so you see right here I'm picking up that water that drain down and uh, that does it for this level that does it for page two of challenges so thanks for watching please comment like subscribe